Hello everybody, it's the Minecraft Guy 105 here, and today I'm going to be making another episode of Let's Nuke It. So, this one I'm not, I haven't actually, whoa! Okay, I actually haven't explored this world. There's an ice biome over here, which is pretty cool, or uh, ice spikes. It's not that big, but I mean, wow, right next to spawn. There's the seed if you want it, it's like right next to spawn, so, uh, pause the video copy that seed if you want anyway um back to the actual video so yeah i'm doing another episode of uh let's nuke it so i mean a few people wanted me to do it so i'm gonna go ahead and, and uh keep continuing the series but if it becomes like one person watches it in like a month and probably not but anyway i'm gonna keep doing this so yeah, I haven't made a video in a while, but yeah, making one today. So, anyway, uh, this one's gonna be pretty extreme. It could even crash. I mean, um, I don't really know. So, if the video, it might, the video might cut out because this one's gonna be really extreme. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make every entity in the entire world summon TNT. So, every entity, items, which there are like. You can like say at e type equals item. Oops. And you can see there's a bunch of items. All those items, all the mobs, all item frames, or uh, you know, just every single entity in the world is going to be summoning TNT, which is a lot. Now I don't have the best gaming computer in the world, so it's probably gonna crash. This is probably gonna be more extreme than the last episode, so yeah. I mean, you can see there's items right here from wolves killing sheep, so that's already a lot. So, yeah, the, um, I'm going to go ahead and blow it up. So, all I need is one command block for this. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy. Slash E-X-E-C-U-T-E -E at E. Just put at E. And then put these, the tilde signs. So, it's making all mobs in the world do slash summon prime TNT so that is the command right there I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it so I can put in the description and you're just gonna have to put a button on this now this only works in 1.8 because they added the execute command 1.8 so if you're gonna do this do in 1.8 and I suggest you have a pretty good computer but we'll see so here we go the video might cut out but I'm gonna launch it so five four three two one uh, I have if it's still recording I have one frames whoa so it didn't crash <laughs> you can see that it actually didn't blow up that much but still it's pretty funny uh, there's just holes everywhere so I can do it a little more extreme so now there's XP everywhere and I'm pretty sure, uh, let me just try to s do this over here. Summon Prime TNT EXP. I don't know. Yeah, see, that didn't work. So, anyway, there's XP everywhere and items from the blocks, and there's still mobs spawning, probably so. Still a lot of entities. I'm going to pause the video right here and look up how to do the explosion radius because I think I forgot or I'm not spelling it right. But I'm going to change the explosion radius to 50 so the explosion is like 50 times bigger and there's entities in the world. So be right back. Okay, I'm back and I actually figured out how to do it. Um, so I found out that you actually can't do it with TNT and you have to do it with a creeper. At least that's how I think it goes. So what I'm going to do is have all the entities in a world summon a creeper with an explosion radius of 50 and it's already ignited so it's the same as TNT but bigger explosion so you can go ahead and just take out the summon TNT part and put in this so let me see slash summon creeper with an explosion radius of one not or not one I want to change that to 50 ignited once that what that does is um when it spawns it's just gonna blow up instantly and fuse that's how long it takes to blow up so fuse is set to one second so when I push this button it will instantly blow everything up so we have a bunch of items in the world and here we go 
Oh, lag. Lag. I have one frame if it's even recording. Ah, uh, zero frames. Oh, you can see all the creepers. This is extreme. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Oh, I'm crashed. Uh, it's still going. I can barely move. And it keeps crashing. I don't know what's happening with the video right now. Two frames. I think it's still recording. But this is... You can see all the creepers everywhere. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, come on. It's almost done. Maybe. Uh, oh, I, I don't know if the video is cutting out, but it keeps crashing, like freezing, and then coming back. So I don't know. Sorry if it's like really terrible right now. Um. I hope there's not like 20 separate videos on my computer. That would be bad. Okay. Yeah, this is more of an explosion than earlier, so. Uh. It's probably almost... Or not. It's going really slow, but it seems like it's almost over. It seems like it's almost over. Oh, there's a dungeon down there. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, I was just checking to make sure that there's... Why does it say block of TNT? Oh. Okay, I'm back. Uh yeah, sorry I had to stop it a little bit, but yeah, I had I actually had to stop it because it took like I had to redo this like 20 times so not the whole video but I had to redo the explosion part because every time it took like half an hour for me to move like an inch and it nothing was happening I did slash kill all items and every like I killed everything didn't work so after like three times of doing it again uh, this is the same world it's just it roll backed it but anyway after three times of doing like the same thing I decided to set this up up here so uh, what you do is when you push the button it executes all items and everything to summon a creeper and seven explosion radius of 50 I had to do 25 and I actually made this so I could jump down there so it wouldn't blow this machine up and then a second after that it kills everything in the world so it actually took about like 10 minutes to actually work but I finally got this to work and yeah this is actually a pretty big explosion it looks pretty big or it looks uh, bigger than last time you can see that like everything in the entire world is just like demolished like even over here way away from the command blocks uh, you can see the squid must have been blowing up some stuff 
uh, like, uh, especially here, this is actually pretty cool. But, yeah, I mean, it's still pretty big. Um, you could actually see when I was lagging really bad in the video before this, um, you could still see the f one with the 50, but this is 25. But you can still see that it did a pretty good amount, amount of uh, damage. There's actually, if you decide to use the sea, there's like mountains, ice biome, uh, ice spikes biome, uh, plains biome. There's actually a ravine like almost right under spawn somewhere. I noticed that later, but yeah pretty big explosion it definitely looks like a nuke has been through here like a tornado or something remember this was using no mods so it's pretty cool um yeah there's not really much left i just or left to the video yeah it just exploded everything so i guess there were mobs standing in all these spots but it was unbelievably laggy i probably was sitting here for like an hour and a half waiting for this to stop i mean especially here this is where all the action was i guess you can see it's just like a wasteland or something it's funny but yeah that's pretty much it for the video um leave a comment in the description of a map i should download and blow up if you want me to for the next episode uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for the next video. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Bye.